pedaled into California under a blanket of rain and fog. I was quickly drenched, but it was nothing a few quarters at the laundromat couldn't fix. As I entered the redwoods, droplets of rain fell from the branches high above me and landed on my head. I got a peek of the coastline before slipping back into the trees. The forest was dense and unbroken, except for a few roadside attractions. After saying hi to Paul Bunyan and Babe, I went the rest of the day, straining my neck to gaze upward at the majestic giants. I stopped for the night at Prairie Creek and shared a quiet summer evening with elk grazing in the meadow. The next day, Route 101 led me out of the trees for a moment. It seems everything here, the buildings and the cars, have a beautiful and weathered patina. Along the avenue of the giants, I soon found myself biking through the trees again, both figuratively and literally. Sharing the space with these ancient trees will always be a humbling and unforgettable experience. At Leggett, I took the twisty roads of Route 1 up and over the mountain. Just when I thought the switchbacks would never end, the Pacific Ocean opened up before me. From here, I pedaled south along the coast for even more stunning scenery. Blue skies and even bluer water took me into Fort Bragg, where I stopped at Glass Beach for a late afternoon painting. After that, I packed up my sketchbook and biked to a campground for the night. In this part of California, I found foggy mornings to be the norm, but I still was able to find beauty in the muted colors and hazy skies. By midday, the fog would begin to burn off, giving way to the beauty of the Pacific Coast Highway, and it never failed to put a smile on my face. And the road continued, past fences, golden meadows, twisty roads, a little bit of traffic, and the deep blue Pacific Ocean. Finally, I began the descent into Bodega Bay, where I got a pizza and carefully rode a few more miles to camp. If you'd like to get the full story, check out drawnthere.com to order a copy of my book, The Art of Bikepacking.